And gentlemen, we are back at it again. We are back at it with a brand new, spanking new episode. My name is Platini. My name is Pat. And we are two peas in a pod. Exactly. How do how you do, my good sir? Look at the shoulders. <laughs> Look at the shoulders. That means we're feeling good. We're feeling great. I'm vibing, man. Things might look new, sound new. We're just testing things out as we go. You know what it do. We're getting closer and closer to the 100 mark. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Sing is right around the corner. Mm-hmm. And as usual, we're back with the Marvel. We're back with the DC, the combat sports, the sports, the chipping. The, si- the, the chipping? The, the sipping. You saw you <laughs> Before I bombard you. Should we get it started? Let's get the party started. Let's get the party started. Back with Marvel News. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's talk about Blade. Let's talk. Doesn't seem like it's great, but it seems like it's getting going. Okay? Blade is done <sighs> undergoing another round of significant revisions. My, Marvel now is in search of a new writer? My thing is, this is probably like, the third or fourth. I was just about to say that. Monkey that's been in the wrench. Like this is, I don't know what's going on with this. With this messing up so many times, I don't know if it's a mess. If I'm if I'm using the right language, a messing up. But with redos. everything redos having to start all over, will this be worthwhile when it's finally out? The storyline is finalized and filming is set scheduled to commence in 2024. Additionally, casting for a new male villain is underway. So, hmm. it's in shambles in all from all aspects. Uh, who? What's his name again? Mashal Ali. I think he's still on board. He is. It's just wow. But I can see why he was like. Yeah, it's very frustrating. Like, what are we doing? How many how many mm-hmm, scripts mm-hmm. have you given me? How many times did I have to? And and the way in the way I'm sure the way the actor schedule is, it's like you you always hear about actors not be be able to do parts because they have to see if their schedule's clear. Yeah. Now look at him clearing his schedule so he could do this. My pockets. Imagine him. Imagine what he's saying no to because he has to do this. Y'all better give me my bread. I don't know. I just hope. They get it together because I would love to see a blade, a part of everything that's going on. I don't yes. want I don't want them to miss out. The Fantastic Four is on the way. Last part we just talked about that. Um, and I like I said before, I like him as coming up. Even even Wesley Wesley Snipes said yes. I like him as the new blade for this MCU. I like what I see. I like him as an actor. Mm-hmm. So, when you get it from the guy who started it all and the one that technically kept Marvel afloat. The OG. He He's the reason why Marvel's still here. To be Look, honest. I don't know who it is. Marvel, I don't know if it's Disney. I don't know if it's a mixture of both. Get it together. Please. That's all we ask. Get it together or lose it forever. Get it together or lose it forever. I like that. Mm-hmm. As far as Marvel news, is that all we got today, my good sir? Apparently, yes, but, you know, it's okay. It is what it is. We're always chock full of Marvel news. Yeah. You know, we can slow it down a bit. Mm-hmm. But, till next time, how? Alrighty, fresh off of Marvel news, straight into some DC news, if you've been paying attention, and you should know by now that we're friends of my adventures with Superman. I'm finally uh, this Superman's fan. Mm-hmm. And hopefully James Gunn Superman, which mm-hmm. most likely I will be. But what we got? Season two is afoot, and this is basically a preview. Yeah, early preview. It did. It's out. It's out now. It did come out last Friday. We haven't had a chance. Mm-hmm. Had a busy weekend. Mm-hmm. Been working my butt we're, off. We're gonna get to it. He's been working his butt off. We, we're gonna get to it. But we still here with y'all. Mm-hmm. Let's get to this preview though. Superman. Thank you. <laughs> 
See, this is what I mean about a preview. I don't even know what's going on. It just starts out of nowhere. And they're giving the straight action. My man's getting beat by oh. Superman is a little different. The, the, the way they... As far as... You don't see how it's like growing out of his skin? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That yeah, that's happen. dope. That's that dope. I like that. Usually but he just... Uh, it makes it look... It, it, it makes him look more like... Uh, when alien? they do it like that, like like a like a disease, but like an Man, infectious disease. I don't know disease. what happened with Buddy. It came out of his armor. Hmm. It was that guy on um, Kutoni? I don't think so. We don't know. I don't even know who he is. Oh, so we're sitting there talking like tonight. Wow. <laughs> See, we haven't even watched it yet. This is how this is how oh, invested we are. Okay. And like I was saying, I was saying it's campy, but it's oomph. And I don't know how far along that preview is to so where where where's where is that happening at? Because we haven't even watched episode one. We don't even know what's going. On. I'm glad. I'm glad. That was great. I'm glad. That was awesome. Um, that, that was a minute and some change and still didn't 30, give us nothing. 30, minute 35. Still didn't give we us nothing. We don't know nothing. where they were, who was he fighting. All we saw was Amanda Waller and, and uh, Slade. Slade, Jimmy and what's the name rang through. Jimmy and Lois Lane. They still got that thing. Oh, them Pokeballs? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pokeballs for, for, for Kryptonite. But look forward to that again. I'm going to tell you, catch up. My Adventures with Superman is good stuff. Last Friday was episode one. This Friday will be episode two. We will catch up and give y'all some reviews. So, that gives y'all time to catch up. Speaking of catching up, let's catch up on some Lantern, a series that's going to be on Max. Let them know about that flag. We were just talking about our boy... James Gunn has officially announced the creative team for Green Lantern, the Max series, which will be titled Lanterns, mm-hmm. plural, plural. Mm-hmm. I remember we talked about mm-hmm. Hal Jordan and... Yeah, we're going to get there, we're going to get there, we're going to get there, we're going to get there. Go, 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 go. Who he's bringing on board, you might ask, Emmy Award winning Lost and Watchmen creator Damon Lindelof. Ozark showrunner Chris Mundy and acclaimed comic book writer Tom King. And when I read that, I was like, Platt's going to love that. Ready yes, you Tom King. You ready for this? Watchmen and Ozark? Mm-hmm. Those are both dark. Tom King, uh, the superwoman. I know who Tom King is. Let me get there. Let me get there. Let me get there. But the first two parts throw me off. Because you're giving me dark. This, this is not going to be happy-go-lucky. Nah, nah. And then nah. Tom King, comic book writer for, uh, of course, like what you were going to mm-hmm, say, mm-hmm. for the Supergirl comic that I liked. That's going... It makes sense. Exactly. He's... James Gunn knows what he's doing, bro. Exactly. You know, I seen them on set. You know, I seen them on set for Superman. Everybody was reading a Superman comic. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. And according... This is according to James Gunn. Talk to me. Yes, it's true. The Lanterns DCU series is putting together a crack team of writers crack based team. on a wonderful pilot script and Bible by Chris Mundy, Tom King, and Damon Lindelof. James Gunn. That is awesome. The show will focus on both... <laughs> I like how... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> On both Hal Jordan and my boy John Stewart. I'm if y'all didn't in. know, John Stewart is my favorite Green Lantern of all time. I'm tuning in, and I'm so happy it is not a movie. This deserves to be a series. Green Lantern needs to be a series so you can flesh a character out like that. This we is live action, characters. Yeah? Yes, yes, live action. And, and, I think and it's not just those two lanterns. The other one's gonna be there all too. All of them. Um, <sighs> uh, what's the guy? The big one. Yeah, no, I know. And then the newspaper writer guy. I forget their names. I'm sorry. It's going to be great. Yeah. But like I was saying, DC needs this. This James Gunn is setting up everything perfectly. We need series. We, 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 we're, we're good on the movie ends. We I need think, series. I think he, he, he understands the game because yeah. Marvel was like, like, yo, this is how we doing it and it's worked. But it slowly started to deteriorate. Now he's like, this is how we're going to do it. And it's really going to work. I'm going to give you movies. Then I'm going to give you series. So we don't have to waste money on a movie that might flop. Now I'm going to give you a series where I detail mm-hmm. give you mm-hmm. what these characters mm-hmm. are about. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to throw them into certain movies. And, and there's, there's plenty enough space for 
someone to input their creativity, and James Gunn is got the guy just to do that with these DC characters. Creating them things. His, his way. And he has so much, so much. Look, this is just like a little tiny scope of what we're talking about. We're only talking about a Lantern's Max series. We, we, we Don't forget we have uh, Creature Commando. Don't forget mm-hmm. we got uh, Superman movies ahead of Superman, Supergirl, and people are debuting inside of those and then we have uh, uh, there's uh, other live actions he uh, posted uh, up that he wanted like in the even in the though he map. said even though he said no to uh, the Teen Titan movie he said no to it be, be uh, shooting starting in December he didn't say no to it not being he wants made to push back. he's like ah, 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 that on, is relax. way that is way too soon talking to Teen yeah, Titan like, re- relax. way too soon relax let's get everybody acclimated first mm-hmm. and then we're really about to Get it popping. Yes, sir. Like, once it starts, what do we say? Once the train starts rolling, it's, just, it's gonna be crazy. We've been telling y'all, man. We've been got our golden ticket. we here for all that and more. The golden ticket is sick. But Here's all the DC news we have. It was great news. Wonderful news. But till next time, y'all. Holla. It's about that time, guys. <laughs> and uh, we've been rocking and rolling. We had a, uh, what's funny is we, we, we had a, uh, Rocky beginning with this segment and then out of nowhere just we we did a couple things mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we did hot sauces mm-hmm, we did we did and if we y'all stopped stuck around long enough we yeah did hot you, you remember the wings and then we still for a minute and then we came back and now we're we came back but we weren't really back back mm-hmm. like we were we were dibbly dabbling mm-hmm. but now we're back back and back, then back, we back. found some things we started off with I well, remember before that before that this is volume thirteen by the way volume thirteen. I remember we got into Willy Wacky. Yes! Willy Wacky Snacks was cool. But then we found the source. We found the source over there. The general at himself. Palm Beach, Mr. Pete Pops himself. We appreciate you, my boy. And we're coming back around. We're spinning the block for what? another Chip and Sip Found 13. Brought to you by Pete's Pop. Let's get it. Today. What are we doing today? Today. First of all, let's see what the... What, let, what's the chip chips, part? Let's, let's see let's what the see chips what the are chip we talking about. These are, be, these are very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Before we say anything, there's a, there's a few little hints. Top here. Champions League. You're stupid. For my soccer blokes. Champions League. You can already tell where this is from. Mm-hmm. The pound sign, mm-hmm. you know what we're doing. The UK boys has brought to us walkers, looks like Lay's. Walkers, mate. Max Pepperoni Feast. Flavored potato chips, and I'm assuming that's that's a pepperoni feast is a Isn't order it you can get from Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I ain't never heard no pepperoni feast here in the States. The I'm, UK. I'm, I, it, it's, some, it, it's, it's like... It's like, it's can, like can, can, pizza? can I have a sausage feast that's full of sausage, and can I have a pepperoni feast, you know what I mean? That's so it's how, like extra pepperoni? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's, what I'm, that's what I'm assuming. So that's the flavor you're going to get from this. It looks crazy. All right, I'm just going to hold it like that. It looks I just crazy. wanted to see the bag. I guess this, this was a uh, special edition. Uh, a Champions League. Champions League. Champions League, mate. Now, let us show you the sip. With our sip. We got Coca-Cola brand Quebec Maple Érable de Quebec. Now, my question is, is this uh, flavored maple? Yes. Huh? That's what we're doing. For sure. That's, for sure. That's what we're doing. Out of Canada. And, of course, we, um, well, we, we went a little sweet hunting last time. We grabbed a couple of, and uh, we were a fan of the 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 the, 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 the chips the chips ahoy. Uh, what was it called? From Brazil, hazelnut drink. Yes, yes. drink for fire, y'all. So the chips more out of Brazil, double chocolate. It's biscuit chip chocolate. We're doing double the chocolate today. Double the chocolate, double the fun. Halados. You know what it is. All right, so let's get this party started. I'm about to let me chill out. 
Let's go. Let you, us get this you party get that started. Chip open. I'm gonna get this body. Mmm, they smell like they're advertised. Oh, it smells like Coke. Oh, pepperoni. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. Hmm. Right. Right, right, mate. Uh, let me get your cup. You wanna uh my tell me open these chips of boys? Because I'm a fan of these. Oh, this is crispy, bro. That just sounds crispy. And you know what's funny? I think we I think we picked a good match today. Cause uh, hopefully a pepperoni pizza with a hopefully. coke. Hopefully a pepperoni pizza with a coke. You're right. Since when? Since when is that problem? Yeah. Oh, that smells just. I wish I could. I wish I could smell. I love it. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm officially a fan. Fan wow. I don't know who they think they are. Let's go. All right. Let's chip it up first. We know what we do here. We chip it up first. Just, See uh, what the chip do. Talk to me. This thing always getting a big ass chip. It ain't my fault. There's some good big chips in there. Oh, I got you. Watch this. Watch. You gonna be mad as hell. No, no. Watch. Boy. Bada -bing. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Wow. Pepperoni. Wow. Wow. If you're a fan of pepperoni. Wow. Here's what you want. Wow. Okay. Start it off. Hold up. Wow. That's crazy. Okay. Start it off. You know how we feel about Lay's volume. I'm still giving it the two until y'all give me at least two more Lay's. Are these Lay's? These are walkers. It's the same brand, bro. They ain't, they, they're trying to hide. I know what y'all doing. Same brand. These are good. These are the walking this lander. They're not bad. They might, would this be oh, something? You know what? Can I tell you something? Maybe you need a more. These aren't bad. Hmm. I understand what I'm saying, though. This isn't something I, 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 I get. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. No. Would I put this in my rotation? No. Oh. Never that. No. Go in there and find one that's really dusty. The one I just had gave me a nice kick. Um, they these do have a kick to them. I'll say I'll say that much. Cause the first one I have was a little lack luster in flavor. All right. This one I'm really doing. Mm. Not bad. Oh, <coughs> yo, that's a long pipe. Taste the maple. Mm. Mm, it. It's definitely different than a, than a, a regular, regular Coke. Coke. Jinx. I wouldn't mind this. No, can, can I tell you something? I think because I think I think United States Coca Cola is super sugary. Is this how Coca Cola supposed to be tasting? You know what I'm saying? Like outside the states, it's not. Like, it's not no syrup, syrup Coke. Oh wow! Like, this tastes really smooth. Canada, let me find out. Can I tell you when I go to DR? This how Coke is tasting. Minus the maple. All right. So, I'll be down. I'll tell you this. The combination of... I like that. Yeah. Like I said, pepperoni pizza with a soda. That, the, 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 the soda was soothing. Yeah, do that. Do that. Do that right now. You're my, yeah. That's a pepperoni pizza with a soda. Watch. Pepperoni pizza with a soda. That's not bad. Pepperoni pizza with a soda on the side. <laughs> so... Wow. The chips themselves, I'm going to give them a three. The Coke? I, I can give this flavor. This flavor that's going on. They, Both together? I could definitely give it a three, four, some, something Both like Both together? Mm-hmm. It's weird. The chips alone, three. The Coke? I might give it a four. 
It's the, 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 but together, they're definitely a four. Yeah, I like that. I got my Keith Lee. You know what I'm saying? But what's, look at us being silly here. Look what we... Sir, 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 sir. Thank you. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> the star of the show. Ooh. I know he's going to be fired. Cheers, mate. No. 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 They do, they do something to these cookies, bro. I don't know because we overdoing it. Or I mean, no. I got you. No. These chips more, they do something with this. They do something with this. They're, they're, they're just a nice amount of thin. It gives me nicely, nicely quick power. Every time. But still get a different flavor. It's not super dry. Mm hmm. It gets more moist and moist than it. Right. How many did I eat already? I'm on, my, I'm on my third. This is my fourth. And here's the thing. You know, double. you got like chocolate to eat double chocolate. Double chocolate can be overpowered. It's this, not rich. This is not. I feel like they just put more Nestle Quick Powder in it. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one more, bro. Yeah, I don't mind. Like one more before I We're going to save some for you for Alice, because dog. He hasn't even had the honey buns that we have. Mm hmm. I'm going to hit him. There's no way they make longer sleeves than these. No way. It'll be illegal. I need to stop this. I can't. I got it. I got sure. That was great. No complaints. As far as that, I'm giving that a four. I'm giving you a four. Yeah, the baby. chips more every time. The chips more give me a four. Chips more give me a four. Mm -hmm. uh, chips more give, give me, me a four. four. Mm -hmm. uh, chips more give me a four. Hey, peace pop. We appreciate you. Oh, peace pop. Thank you once again. We Gee still whiz. got a couple of snacks coming to you, so don't worry. And mm -hmm. we finna re up. So. Don't even worry about it. We'll be back. Mm hmm We pour it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh boy rubbing his hand like bird man. We pour it. We'll get out of here. We run it down here. We have the chips alone. I'm gonna give it a three. Mm -hmm. Volume two, always. Today's Y'all, y'all need to make it up. The Quebec Maple Coca Cola was very refreshing because I didn't feel like it was overpowering as far as sugar, but it was. It gave me the. Ah, I'm gonna give that a three. Together though, the Max Pepperoni Feast with the Coke. Definitely a four. And you already know. Chips more. Give me a four. Uh, chips more. Give me a four. Them joints is cracked. <clears throat> Them joints is cracked. The hazelnut joints is fire. The I double chocolate tell. joints are fire. I can't tell between these and the hazel who's the fire. Or... They both, you know why? Because they both have that next quick chocolatey. Except the other one just gives me the... The hazelnut. You know, yeah, the, the hazelnut. Mm-hmm. This is just like double nest quick. Mm. And I like it. Chips more. Give, Give me some it. more. Mm -hmm. um, again, shout out to Pete. I can't. Oh, and I also had at the start of the show to get to get me ready. To get busy. I had passion some fruit uh, Red Bull. Passion from... fruit Red Bull. Or is that Japan? From uh I guess. Yeah, I don't want to be. I don't want to be disrespectful. Facts. Right. Let's see where you from. Let's see where you re reside from, son. Chinese. A Chinese Red Bull. 
cacao vitamin energy drink. Hmm? Bull. Oh. <laughs> he said, huh? I thought he said it's meant for cows. No. Passion fruit flavor out of China mainland. Hmm. Interesting. Red Bull. They give you wings. But on that note, today is a new day and we got some NBA playoff news for y'all. We finally got someone out of the East to close it out and advance to the finals. The Celtics win the ECF and advance to the finals. Let's get it. Jalen Brown received the ECF MVP award. Congratulations, my good sir. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because uh, it looks like it's going to be a good matchup with whoever wins out of the West. Mm. Talking about the West... Mav versus Timberwolves continues to a game five. They thought they were going to get swept, but please tell me, what did Anthony Edwards say? Anthony Edwards said he's never been swept in his life and doesn't plan on letting that happen this year. Even though <clears throat> the Mavs are up three to one, mm. the Timberwolves put a good fight, and now it's looking like they might continue, but it's a really crazy, crazy hole to get yourself out of. Let's see what happens. It hasn't been done. Things happen. It hasn't been done, but let's see what happens. The game, the series is still 3-1. Mavs are up. Let's see if what the Timberwolves got started with in the last game carries on to the game that's coming up next. Mm. And then once we get a winner out of that, it's going to be Celtics versus either one of those teams in the finals. We won't have a lot of news left, but those finals is coming soon. And we'll see who's going to be the champion of 2024. Till next time. You ready, Bill Two peas back at it with your fighting news. Let's get to it, shall we? May 25th. <coughs> In MMA, APFC 11, Anthony Pettis, you know. Fight Fiesta, we see Emmanuel Sanchez. Who is now 22 and 9. Defeat Peter Pettis. Who is now 10 and 8. Via submission round 2. What are we looking at, my good sir? Yee. Oh. Ooh. I like uh -oh. it, I like it. Uh oh Bangeries. We scrapping. I like the... Mm-hmm. Tumble roll transition. Uh-oh. Oh, oh it's it? coming. You know my it's favorite in. stuff. That's the dark? Come on. Oh. It's sorted, but it's, like, it's, a, it's still Anaconda. Same family. I call it from the same family. Look where you at. And yeah. he gave it to him. That's what I'm saying. He kind of slipped into it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. You just got to be <gasps> Yeah. Now you're done. Now you're done. You're not going nowhere. Are alligator rolling here? You're going to roll. Anaconda. Oh. That looks like an anaconda. Oh. Mm. No. We're done. There's nothing to do here. Oh. Look at his ribs. Oh, he can't breathe. He can stop it. Stop it. Oh, he was done. Jeez Louise. Anaconda. <laughs> Jungle Fight 126, where we see a lower Donna. Who is now and still mm -hmm. undefeated. 7 and 0. Defeat Brenda Cardoza. 9 4. Via TKO round 2 for Alora's Jungle Fly Flyweight title. Good job defending your title, ma'am. Aye, aye, aye. Here we go. Here we go. Here it looks like go. it's going to be bad, too. Yeah, it looks bad. I don't even like the setup. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I was hey, you that, that, That's not. I know what you mean. I that's not what I was expecting. That. That. You opened up with a great combo. A 3. A three into a kick. And the kick. Mm-hmm. Bomb, leg kick. She wasn't seeing none of that. Oh, Laura. Wow. She oh, was what you need her. to know about that fight is, uh, oh, Laura did that after being knocked down in the first. That's what I just read. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't know who was who. Good job, oh, Laura. I liked it. Let's Cage go. Warriors 172 took place that same day where we see Harry Hardwick. 
Now eleven and three. Defeat Orlando Prince, who is now five and three, via KO in the round two for the CW vacant flyweight title. Congratulations, good sir. Ay ay ay. What are we looking at? I don't even like this position he's in. Oh, it's gonna be nasty. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -mm. He's gonna walk him down. Yo, he's mm -hmm. a beast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He just threw three lethal blows at him, and he just walked him down, like walked you said. Him down. He's hurting though. But that's a, this is a, this this is a savage sport. Shout like out it. to Harry Hardwick. Impressive. Harry Hardwick. May twenty six in MMA. I want you to carefully click through these. <laughs> I want you to carefully click through these links. Oh, there's three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, carefully, okay, carefully. Okay, okay, okay. MMA May 26, Deep Jewels 45 receipt Sori Oshima. Who is now 14 and 4. Defeat Aya Morikami. 7 and 2. Via TKO in the round one for the DJ Championship. Look at that footage, my good sir. I'm going to go to the first one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh oh. Hey, yo. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. What is going on, P? What are you showing me? Oh, this doesn't look good. Mind you, the wrestling on the floor. This is going to be a TKO. Yeah. Oh. 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 Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. I hate this position. It's the big brother, little brother. Joy. It's such a compromised position. This what? It's over. That's it. It's over? Mm-hmm. Now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Second Can you read that off for me? The newly unified Deep Women's and Deep Jewels microwave champ, Soria Oshima, just said she wants to challenge herself. And invent the fights next. Get out of that. Go back to notes. I'm Click so the last confused. link. What is going on? You wanted it. You got it. Please come. Please welcome unified Deep and Deep Jewels champ, Soria Oshima, in Invictiva FC. Just like that, it happened. We got you. Just like that. Good for her. Just like that, it happened. Because I was... You did your thing. Closed mouth, don't get fed. Just like that, yes, it happened. Yes, sir. Good job. Let's get into some boxing. Talk to me. May 24th in... Was that Zao? Mm. Poland? God, sorry, I'm not from Poland. Hey, we had a title fight between Lawrence O'Kelly. Who is now 20 and 1. Defeating Lokaz Rosensky. 15 and 1, not for, bad. For Rokensky's WBC Bridgeway title, he took his belt. And he took away his. Oh, let's see what it looked like. He took away his I didn't mean peep game. He took away his donut. <clears throat> oh, oh. I, I, mm, you I, see it coming. You see it coming. You yes. see it coming. That cross was reach, on his head. But he also has reach. Mm, oh my mm, lord. Mm, oh. Oh, I seen this. He gets up again. The second time. You saw this? Yes. Second time is even worse. It's bad. It's bad. Oh wait, that was the second time. Probably was. He, he got knocked down twice. The first time he got <laughs> knocked down, and then the second time he went through the. He went through the. Oh man. I'm sorry, buddy. Shout out to Lawrence. Fact. May 25th. Oh, MF Design Series 15 happened in Texas where we see L. Brook go down with Paige Van Zandt. What is both their records, sir? They were both 0-0. Zero and zero. For the MFB middleweight title that ended up in a draw. I don't know. I so don't they're 0-0-1 oh, oh both? Yeah, basically. That sucks. Oh. Here's what's crazy is L was not supposed to do this to Paige. Oh! Yeah. L, oh. That was the theme of the night. So L you know what's funny? was not supposed to do that to Paige. I ain't mad at it. I'm not mad at L. I'm not mad at L at all. Paige, what are you doing? That's that's not my fault. That's not my problem. The fact bro, that bro, bro, you bro. wasn't supposed to bro, do that? She's a social media star. That is actual fighter. That's the theme of the night. She don't look like it, though. Because she took the shit serious. I'll work the Elbrook. I'll give Elbrook her props. Oh, oh. <clears throat> she got to clean it up, though. Mm hmm. It's mm -hmm. too robotic. But, 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 but the fact she can do that with a Paige Van who used to be in UFC. Yeah. If she could, if she could give me more tight, oh, more tight, she'll become a problem. The power's there. Yeah. The power is there. It's just too, uh, I see the holes. Mm -hmm. I see the holes. That same day in England, Jack Catterall. 
who is now 29 Defe- and 1. Defeat Josh Taylor. 19 and 2. Via unanimous decision, avenges his loss to Taylor. Let's see what that looked like. I like it. Mm. Oh, but it ain't that good. Oh, oh. Mm. Ta- oh. I love the combos. I love the combos. Bop. Bop. Up the middle. Bop. And that's the stuff that you always taught me. Right. Throw it. It doesn't matter if it's going to hit. It's going to open shit up. Mm-hmm. Oh! He's Good giving stuff. me livers. Yo, I'm out. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be the one pissing blood later. Same day, Canada. Christian Belly. Still undefeated. 27-0. and 0. Defeats Mark Heffron. It's a crazy record. He's now 30 and 4. Via corner stoppage round 6 for WBC Continental America Super Middleweight title. Corner stoppage is crazy. Oh, mm-hmm. man. You know you're having that talk. Corner stoppage is wild, man. Oh, corner look. Oh, oh yeah. he's like, it. yo, we're good. It's good. It's, it's, it's better that. It's better that. But it's better you tell I me I like that. that as a coach because a greedy coach would have sent him back into war knowing mm-hmm. that your man's is depleted. I better you tell me that. And tell he me was you don't like, want to go. You good? That's honorable. I can or, or that. He'll probably look at his eyes. Are you good? And he he, mm-hmm. he probably said yes, but he saw him. He's like, mm-hmm. Imagine mm-hmm. how many times I've been. To, he's been to work with him before that. So mm-hmm. it's like, man, and he saw it. And he was like, Nah, this ain't the one. Mm-hmm. This ain't the one, Chief. It's all good. It's all good, man. Over there in Copenhagen, Denmark, that same day we see Dan, Dina Thorslin staying undefeated, twenty-two and zero. Defeat Saren Keaton. Now eleven and one. Snatched oh, this her, is the snatched one. it. Uh, snatched it. Be a unanimous decision. Score. Read that score. 190. Mm-hmm. 190. Mm-hmm. 99 to 91. That's a, that, unanimous. That, that, that says a story, does it not? Yes. For Thurslands, WBC and WBO women's bantamweight title. She was not losing none of that. Unanimous. Got the two belts in hand. Look at that. I mm-hmm. like it. Good for you. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Ooh. And I saw the footage. She was not losing that one. Ooh, see, that's she the straight t- that I'm talking about. If the homegirl, the, the social media girl could do that. Yes. She took her O. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mind you, she's still taking one on the chin. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> but she's at the end of her punches. Why I always tell my clients, end of the have them at the end of your have the bag with them at the end of your punches. Mm. Their end might not be yours. Makes sense. Makes sense. Let's get some upcoming stuff. Did, uh, we have a great weekend, and someone might be retiring. Let us get to it. The party starts as soon as May 30th. This Thursday, mm-hmm. this is when we start. I like this one because, I'm not going to lie, it might be play favoritism. He follows us on uh, 2P's IG. <laughs> we have Karate Combat 46 taking place in Texas, where we see Ross Levine. 2-1. Versus Adrian Harborby. 1-0. For the KC middleweight title. Let's get it. Ross is the one who follows us. We're rooting for you, Ross. You already know, but <laughs> it's awesome because when's the last time we got a karate combat? Two weeks ago, three uh, weeks probably. ago. Probably. There, there. What I like is ever since uh, rock, rock, Luke, Luke, rock. No. Luke, no, you're right. You're right. Right. Three weeks ago, I think. What I like is ever since we we saw the space one, they've been rocking and rolling. They've been the rocking space and rolling. one was the best one, but I'm not gonna lie. I gotta tune into this week because I just first obviously our boy Ross mm-hmm. and I like karate combat. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a it's a change and, of pace and and they they, I had watched it before. By the time we watched the the space one, they were finally getting it together as far as you see organization. How they, you see how they have G, G, GSP there, Bass Ruin there. Like they finally found their announcer team. They finally found their their promoter guy to talk on. A, so like it was dope seeing that come together. And I, I that now promoter guy is like, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. And now it's good to see where they're going with it. Awesome. Uh, May 31st, let's talk MMA. ACA 176 going down in Russia. Ooh. You see Davy Ramos. 12 and 5. Versus Ali Abalkarakov. Excuse me? I did that. 14 and 2. That's Man. a lightweight bout. Man, I could be out there with the, well with the big furs taking shots of vodka. Two peas in Russia. On that same day, XFC Detroit Grand Prix. Two. Alex Nicholson. Oh, boy. 15 and 10. Versus Carl Suman Otufa. 13 and 14. That is a heavyweight bout. We're going for the home team. Let's of get course. Alex. June 1st, that is MMA. FCR 20 taking place in Sweden, where we see Tabria Horella. 12 and 4. Versus Levon Kurtetz. 
13 and 3. That's a featherweight bout. We finally made it, ladies and gentlemen. UFC 302 taking place in Jersey, where we see Islam Makachev. 25 and 1. Versus Dustin the Diamond Poirier. 30 and 8. For the UFC lightweight title. We're torn, but obviously over here at Two P's. We going for our boy Dustin the Diamond, Diamond. Poirier. And before we say what we say, all due respects, we're fan. It starts with Khabib. We've always been fans of K- King Khabib. That's all you need to know. He always told us Islam would be up next, even when he was a champion. Now look, Islam is the champion, doing as what was predicted. With all that said, we got Dustin by KO. The man said, win or lose, he's going to retire, and this is the perfect setup for him to just ride off into the sunset with a dub and his first belt in the sport. Mm-hmm. And if you're a diehard <clears throat> MMA fan, you would understand what a story ending like that would mean for a Dustin. I would love Poirier. it. Poirier, that would be awesome. I'm end on a wonderful note. And like you had said earlier, had that if that plays out hypothetically speaking, Dustin wins, retires, the belt's up for grabs. Islam would fight for the belt and get it right back. I have, I have, I have no doubt that would happen. Yeah. That would happen. Come on, man. That one is a little weird, so make it two. Mm. 25 and two. It is what it is, man. You know? But like I said, we're rooting for our boy Dustin Poirier, UFC 302, tuned in. Come on, man. We got his hot sauce. How we can't run for them, man? Let's get it. Let's see what's going on in the boxing world, shall we? We're back over there in Saudi Arabia. They be, they be watching all the good fights now. Oh, the day before my birthday. God damn. June 1st. Let's get it. Deontay Wilder. Oh, 43 and 3. Versus Zay Lee Zhang. 26 and 2. This is a heavyweight bout. The implications of this fight for a Deontay Wilder says he advances towards a Jared Anderson if he can get past. Zang, so that'd be that, that. That only that would that be interesting that Deontay Wilder is a big that's a tall order for a Jared Anderson, in my opinion. And the fact that they're already talking about it now, and a, 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 a hypothetical that if he wins happens, and I say let's calm down, and let's calm down and worry about what's for... going on right now. Mm-hmm. But that's my opinion, anyways. That's going down to Saudi Arabia. Tune in next. Friday. If you had, as a matter of fact, who, you, who if you had to choose, who you gonna who you gonna choose between Dante Zayn? Uh, even though you don't know much about Zayn, I seen him though. He's a big boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go Wilder. What is the Bronx Bomber? Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm a fan of upsets. I, I'll just go Zayn just for the hell of it. Oh, Dante yeah. Wilder can knock Zayn out. I, I no doubt about that. But I I'll go so. Zayn. Yeah, I'll go Zayn. June seventh though, this snuck up on me, and this was very surprising. We see. In Fort Lauderdale, Florida, hmm. Adrian Broner. 35 and 4. Versus Blair Cobbs. 16 and 1. And that is a welterweight bout. I cannot tell you the last time I saw uh, Adrian Broner get in the ring, but uh, the promo or lack thereof, or if you want to call that pro- promo, has been very. Lackluster? Not lackluster. If you know Adrian Broner, you know the type of promo you're getting. The. the the trash talking nonsense, no filter Rolling, stuff. Rolling, the let's get it, I'm gonna beat his butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's funny because we looked into it and we definitely might check into this fight live. It's mm-hmm. literally here at the hard. It's a hop, skip, and a jump. You get out seven thirty. The 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 fight start at seven, but the main event don't start till probably ten. Exactly. We'll go scoop up our boys and we'll definitely be there. We seen the tickets. They're not bad. It's right around the corner. Yo. Well, yeah. Hey, with that said, that is it for... And, like, yeah, there wasn't that much fights. Usually, it's be, it, it, it'd be action-packed weekends. Not We're many. getting there. We're getting yeah, there. Yeah, not that... Yeah, when you see it Somebody scarce like... Somebody hasn't even started yet. Mm-hmm, when you see it scarce like this... It's about to be a big one. Yeah, it's, it's about to go down. Heck, uh, what, what was the name of that organiza- organization that does it in chapters? Oh, you know what I mean? Like, we have so the, many. Like, uh, the Asian, uh, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Japan, Japan, mm-hmm. Japan. And as many tournaments going down and all that other jazz. Yeah. But till next time. Holly. Yeah. Marvel News is good. Mm-hmm. DC News was better. I...
<laughs> this is effects. Chip and Sip was awesome. Chip it. Ch oh, wow. Shout out to. They're called Chips More or Chips Ahoy? Chips More. What's, what are you looking at? What is this? Shh. This is for next week. Don't worry. Is this Nicholas Craven? Shh. Oh. <laughs> anyway. But is, I'm not going to say anything, but is that a movie? Yeah, I believe so. Yes, it is. I should have saved it, but there's a there's a, a a new network that's coming out. Awesome. Anyways, this is just keep there's it. a new network coming out that shows that's showing Tom and Jerry Scooby do all little shows from twenty four seven. Almost like a almost like a boomerang. Yeah, I forgot. I'm mad I didn't save it. I saw it on Twitter. It's crazy. Interesting. The rest of the piece are coming back, y'all. Yes. They they get it. Ninety seven, actually ninety seven Spider. They you know, they you're talking about like Spider bringing back Spider Man. Let's bring the old school stuff back. Everybody's loving it. It's giving y'all money too. Lajon is coming in. If you see you sit like Lajon like that, look what they're doing. All right. All right. Uh, with that being said, everything's been great. Mm -hmm. Everything's been nice. Um, you know we had fun. I'm a, I'm a bit tired from working today. He's a little tired too. You know, but we do what we do. We had fun. <laughs> well, that's it. Yeah. My name's Flack. Is it? <laughs> when I even edit that out, we're gonna keep it. <laughs> My name's Fatini, <laughs> and it's Wacky Reversible Wednesdays. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, my boy, I think you, I, I think you, uh, I think you grew some wings. Especially after drinking <laughs> this Red Bull. That boy's on the Red Bull. <laughs> From Peace Pop. <laughs> Out of China. Out of China. I'm about to fly to China. So, uh, time flies and he's about to fly away. You exactly. Black is about to fly away. <laughs> Oh, before I fly out of here, <clears throat> oh, if you're feeling the vibe, oof, please like, share, and subscribe. It's as simple as that. Tell your friends, you know, share the links. Nothing too major. That's all. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. We out here. We wanna, we wanna keep showing y'all love. We wanna keep receiving love. Vice versa. Thank y'all for tuning in. But for now, we out.